Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning to every king and queen all over the globe. Okay? Um, it is 5 a.m. I am Queen Shamise, your motivational, inspirational speaker. And we are going to tap into some things today. First, I want to give my greetings. Okay? I want to give my greetings to all of you guys. I want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys for sharing my reels. I appreciate you guys. Um... For sharing the videos i appreciate you guys for the likes um the reels are to keep you guys alive and going okay to keep you guys motivated and inspired okay um i do not practice my reels okay the minute i come up with something god says hey post it you need to post it. You need to post it. So, as I say, this journey is definitely bigger than me, guys. Okay? Um, I, I come and I, I share my life with you guys. Because this is what I love to do, as I said before. Okay? And I want to thank you guys again. And we are going to jump right into business, guys. Okay? Um... I don't care what religion you are, respectfully, okay? I'm going to keep it funky with you guys. I don't care um, if you are Muslim. I don't care if you are Catholic. I don't care what religion, what God you serve, okay? Respectfully, you are welcome here. I don't care what your background is. I don't care where you came from. You are still a king and a queen. I'm going to jump right into my prayer, guys. If you do not believe in God as well as I do, that is fine by me. But I am going to pray to my God as usual. Okay? Lord Jesus, Father God, I would like to pray unto you on this live, on this Spotify, that every person that has woken up this morning to see this live, to visit this Spotify. I call upon healers to their mind, to their hearts, to their souls, to their bodies, to their families. I call upon healers to anyone that is fighting for their lives in the hospital, that are trying to make ends meet as a husband, as a wife, for their children, for their family. Lord Jesus, Father God, I pray that everyone can be the best version of themselves lord jesus father god for whatever that may mean to them in whichever way that may mean to them lord jesus father god i ask that you have your way in this message on this message of this time of the morning lord jesus father god i pray that the message gets to whoever it is going to touch lord jesus father god and I pray to let you have your way in this message. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Guys, we are going to jump right into meditation. I'm going to take off my glasses because I do not need to see, okay, with my blind little self. <laughs> okay, God still loves me. Okay, I don't need to see, guys, because I already know what I'm doing in this meditation session. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys to join me now. Okay, and close your eyes. Sit up tall with your crown on your head from your heart to throne. Okay, first I'm going to ask you guys to put the first two fingers of your from your hands and put them on your temples. Okay, and I need you guys to rub. I need you guys to rub forward. Okay, because... Whatever that has been taking place over the weekend from last weekend, okay, we are going to knock those things out because we have a whole week ahead of ourselves and we need our minds to be clear and clean, 
okay? And we are going to knock some things out in the boxing ring today. So I need you guys to rub your temples forward because we are moving forward. Now I'm going to ask you guys to rub your temples backwards, okay? Because whatever that has been stressing you out on your mind, your children, your marriage, your business, whatever that is, we are going to lay that thing down today. So I need you to collect every information that you have in your minds, in your heads, in the back of your heads. Because we are going to knock those things out this morning. Now I'm going to ask you guys to go forward. Because you are going to bring it to the front. Whatever that thing is that has been on your mind lately. You are going to bring it to the front and lay it down on the table today. Now I'm going to ask you guys to take your hands and the tip of your fingers. I need you to rub down your face. Rub down your face because you are going to rub every facial expression, everything that has been making you frown. You are going to prepare to wash it away today, this morning, on this hour. Take the tip of your fingers and rub down your face. I don't care how you have to do it, do it lightly. Now I'm going to ask you guys to take the whole hand and rub it down your face like you are tired, but you are not tired. You are washing away everything that has been making your face upsetting, stressful, crying, tears. Wash it away, wash it away. You are not tired. Wash it away. Now I'm going to ask you guys to shrug your shoulders forward. Stay focused, guys. Don't worry about who's in the room because God is in my room. Shrug them shoulders forward because you are going to go into the boxing ring with everything that you got, with all you got. And you are going to prepare to knock some things out today. Shrug forward. Now I'm going to ask you guys to shrug your shoulders backwards. Because whatever thing that has been making your body tired, that has been making you feel like you are under so much stress, but you are not under stress. No. You just need to knock some things out. Shrug them shoulders backwards, guys. Collect everything that has been making you go off the wall. Now I'm going to ask you guys to shrug your shoulders forward because whatever that has been making your body go out of whack, you are going to lay it down today. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you guys to shake your hands. Shake your hands because... Whatever that has been making you nervous, that has been making you feel a little quinky, cranky, whatever that has been going on with your hands and your nerves, you are going to shake that thing off this morning. You don't need it because you need your hands to do hair. You need your hands to write a book. You need your hands. Not your hands to put hands on people, but you need your hands. 
You might have to lift boxes. You might have to write that layout for your business. Shake that nervousness off, guys. Now I'm going to ask you guys to shake your bodies. Shake your bodies. I don't care how you got to do it. Shake your head. Shake your feet. Shake your hands in the air. Shake your body. Turn around in circles. But you need to get all of that stuff off you that has been making you off the wall and out of whack because it's not comfortable for your mind. It is not comfortable for your body. It is not comfortable for your arms. It is not comfortable for your head. Shake that thing off. Now, I'm going to ask you guys to inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale life. Exhale life. Inhale children. Exhale children. Inhale relationships. Exhale relationships. Inhale your marriages. Exhale your marriages. Inhale you. Exhale you. Inhale your work ethic. Exhale your work ethic. Inhale you again. Exhale you. I feel like we got to do that one more time, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Open your eyes. Relax. Sit back. And get ready for the ride. I'm going to put my glasses back on now, guys, because... I need to see, okay? <laughs> like, I need to see everything, okay? Because I don't like not seeing. Some things are just not required for me to see, but most of the time, I need to see, okay? Now, our topic today, guys, is regime you. Oh, yeah, guys. I got soda this morning. <laughs> I have soda this morning, guys. I need to say that. I have soda this morning because um, I was feeling a little, you know, out of place. And I just needed something to boost my energy a little bit. Just like um, when you send your kids to school, you know, they want sugar in the morning. Yeah, they want cake. They want all kind of stuff. You know, an apple might have a little sweet in it, you know, and it keep them up in the morning for school or to keep them, you know, up and alive and ready and prepared. So, I don't really drink soda much, guys. Um, I'm really a waterhead. And um, <laughs> I just needed some sugar to just up me a little bit. Um, okay, so we are going to jump right into this, guys. Regime you. That is the topic today. We're going to talk about regeming ourselves. And the reason I want to talk about that is because I want us kings, to, kings and queens to tap into regeming ourselves. Okay? And... I'm going to elaborate on that, guys, because um, last week I spoke about um, cleaning up our crowns, okay, and knowing when to put it on and take it off and when we need to um, have conversations with ourselves and then putting our crown back on, okay. Um, that is part of redeeming yourself. Um let me rephrase on um, cleaning up the crown because 
cleaning it, cleaning up the crown has everything to do with redeeming yourself. But cleaning up your crown is just thoroughly knowing when to take it off and put it back on. Redeeming yourself is also that, but it also has a more meaningful, powering meaning to it. Okay? And let me elaborate on that a little bit on my life. Okay? I didn't always know who I was. I didn't always know who I was as a mother. I didn't always know who I was as a leader. I didn't always know who I was as a woman, as a queen, okay? And it took me some time to realize that because I was always living in the aspect and the perspective of other people. And not thoroughly just um, living and being who I am. Your being is everything, okay? And as I spoke about being in the shelter last week, okay, um, as I figured out that I needed to tap into my mind and clear my head and um, really thoroughly dive into me because I was once lost and now found, okay? Um, so that is why I, I, I want us kings, to queen, queens, kings and queens, I'm sorry guys, kings and queens to tap into redeeming ourselves, okay? Because not all the time we know who we are, not all the time we can actually live and be who we are because we're so busy trying to make other people happy okay but what about you okay it's not just about cleaning up our crown and knowing when to take it off and put it back on okay we don't want to focus on the crowns today okay but what is the way that you want to wear your crown oh yeah it's getting spicy this morning Okay, what is the way you want to wear your crown? How do you want to wear it? Okay, first you have to identify what does that look like for you? How do you see yourself wearing your crown? Okay, let me elaborate on that guys. Okay. This king and queen thing has not just started, okay? I've always identified myself as a queen. But people were always telling me, you're not a queen. What, what makes you a queen? What makes you a queen? You're not a queen. You know? You've done too much in your life for you to be a queen. And I'm like, excuse me? Pardon me? Who are you? To tell me if I am a king or queen or not. Who are you to identify me? Stop letting people identify you. And stop letting people identify how you wear your crown. Let me make that straight, kings and queens. I'm going to say that again. Stop letting people, places, and things identify how you wear your crown. Or what is the best way you should wear your crown? So in other words, you are letting people identify the best way you should be a wife, the best way you should be a mother, the best way you should be a leader, the best way you need to be you. No. No, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody. Get down and dirty with identifying you. Oh, yeah, that could be a difficult tax. Okay? And I know, but bear with me a moment, guys. I got you. Okay? Identify you and how you want to wear your crown. 
Because when you step out into the world, you get to be you. You get to be who you are. As a mother, you get to be who you are. As a leader in your business. As a wife. As a husband. As a child. As a teenager. Because see, I don't just speak to kings and queens as adults. I speak to kings and queens as teenagers. I speak to kings and queens as young adults. We need to get into the... The, the, the thing of identifying ourselves, knowing who we are, and what sets our crown on straight. Redeem yourself from head to toe, inside out, because you are bigger, you are bolder than you've ever been, queen. You are bigger, you are bolder than you've ever been king I don't know who this message is for but I know this message is for somebody okay that we need to redeem ourselves stop letting people tell you who you really are because you know who you really are stop being afraid to be who you really are as a mother, stop being afraid to be who you really are as a business owner. Stop being afraid to be who you are as a leader. Stop being afraid to be who you are as a sister, as a daughter. See, I had to realize and identify myself that I needed to wear my crown and be who I am because if not my nephew won't know who I am I won't know who I am my mother won't know who I am being an entrepreneur people won't know who I am so I needed to be the greatest version of myself coming from the bottom. Now I'm here. Y'all ever heard that song coming from the bottom now we're here? Yeah. Coming from the bottom. I had to start all over again. Ask me if that felt comfortable. No. But I needed to come into realization that if I wanted to be the best version of myself in everything I do, I need to start from the bottom. So I needed to tap into who I really was. I knew who I really was in my heart. Because every time I got out of whack, I put my crown into my heart. Now, my heart has not always been in the right places. But it was for the right reasons. However, the reason my heart was not in the right place because my heart was around the wrong people, doing the wrong type of things. Okay, now I'm not saying that our heart can be solely not right for other people. But sometimes our heart needs to be in the right place to be around the right people. You can't, if your heart is not in the right place, you can't attract what you want to attract. Your mind can't be where your mind needs to be. That's why I say, let your heart process the way it needs to process when it comes to certain things. So that your mind can handle it 
a lot more better than what it does. You, your heart, you cannot allow your heart to always react out of feelings. You can't let your feelings re react towards your mind. No. Because then that's when a lot of thoughts starts to go into your mind. Okay? Your thoughts starts to run wild in your mind. The next thing you know, your heart and your feelings. No, you need to let it process, as I say, whatever that is taking place in your life right now. You need to let it process. You need to let it heal so that you can redeem you. Okay? And I'm going to talk about why, this is why you need to know where your crown needs to be placed. See, for me, as I say, my crown is placed in my heart. Because everything I do is from my heart. Sometimes I don't even think about it. Sometimes I just do it. Because my heart is a valuable thing. My heart is what I um, value so much. So where is the place that you value so much in you, outside of you, to redeem you again? How does the safe place let me know when I need to redeem me? See, I'm still redeeming me. I'm going to always have to redeem me. Because as they say, there's different strokes to different folks. Okay? So there's always going to be a time where you need to redeem you. So I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody that right now you need to learn how to redeem you now. Because you are bigger and bolder than what you've ever been through in your life. Queen, you are bigger and bolder than what you've ever been through in your life. King, pick a safe place for your crown to go. Okay? Where does the dynamic of knowing the meaning of your crown, what does it mean to you? Oh, I can tell you guys something about that. Where did the dynamic of my crown come from? The dynamic of my crown came from when I absolutely knew who I was, but I wasn't living it. I wasn't being it. Why? Because I didn't thoroughly get to know me. And sometimes that's what it will take for you to redeem you again. You have to get to know you all over again because of what you've been through in your life and what you endured in, in relationships, what you have endured in, in the work ethic, what you have endured in, in churches, what you have endured in from family, what you have endured in from friends, what you have endured in from the world. And I'm here to tell you that the world wants you to think or feel or know, quote, that you do not deserve a crown, but you do. And you have a crown. You had your crown before you came into this world. You had your crown before you got into your mother's womb. God had already gave you your crown before you came out of your mother's womb. You had your crown before you were just a little seed. Oh, yeah. I know that might have... 
touch some hearts. But it's okay because your safe place for you is getting to know you again. That is what it's going to cause to redeem you again. You need to go back into that very little seed that you once was before. Even if you feel like you don't know what that is. But if you dig deep down further enough, you will find how to redeem you again. So, I had to redeem me because I knew who I was. I knew that the lifestyle that I lived and the things that I was doing was not me. The way that I respond to things was not me. As I spoke about, your attitude is not solely because you are angry. It is because you need to evolve as a king. You need to evolve as a queen and be the best version of yourself that you can be a day at a time. However, that does not mean that you won't go through challenges. Okay, guys? Queens and kings, I need you to know that I know that things get hard at times and you feel like you've lost, but don't you drop your crown because of challenges. Challenges test your faith. Challenges are to activate you, to motivate you. Challenges test to see if you let go your crown. Challenges get you ready for what God has for you. Challenges need you to step up while you prepping up. Challenges don't break you. They are there to make you. Put back on your crown, queen. Put back on your crown, king. Redeem you. I know it may sound difficult, but when you tap into it, you have been snatched. Oh, yeah. When you tap into it, you have been snatched. And when you have been snatched, you take back everything that has been taken from you. You take back your heart. You take back your mind. You take back your soul. You take back your spirit. You take back your family. You take back your marriage. You take back the love of your children. You take everything back when you dive into redeeming you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody. Don't let what you've been through talk, talk you out of who you really are. Oh, yeah. Don't let what you've been through talk you out of who you really are. Regime you and get back what you feel that you've lost. Because you never lost. You actually just gained back what your mind has changed. You have not lost. Let me say that again. You just gained back once you change your mind. Regime you. Let's keep the crowns on. Okay, guys? I, as a queen, was never able to dive into me the way I dived into me while I was in that shelter. Okay? Once I came to myself, and I said to myself, I needed to get my mind right. I needed to take off my crown, okay? Because the crown is, 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 is we're wearing it. And like I said before, 
I wore my crown out to the point where I couldn't wear it anymore. I couldn't live with hiding who I really am. Regime you, king. Regime you, queen. Stop hiding who you really are. Because you don't need to worry about what other people's perspective of you is or how people other other people's perspective of how you should live your life. Oh yeah. If you are trying to excel your business, if you are trying to excel in your marriage, if you are trying to excel as a woman, if you are trying to excel as a man, and you are trying to be the greatest version of yourself, I need you to dive back into you and redeem you and birth out who you really are as a king. As a queen, because you are bigger, you are, you are bolder than what you've ever been through in your life. Identifying me was like a, a, a chain breaker. And it was a chain breaker for me because I sat with myself and I said, I get to really be who I am without living in other people's houses. I get to really be who I am without people telling me who I should be or what I should be. Sometimes we need to really actually rebuild ourselves again for our business. Rebuild ourselves again for our relationships with our family. Rebuild ourselves again for our marriages and our relationships. Rebuild ourselves again. So the world does not have control over who we are as a king, as a queen, as a mother, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. I don't know who I'm talking to, but regime you, king, thoroughly. Regime you, queen, thoroughly. Because you are who you are. And be the greatest version of yourself. Stop letting people talk you out of who you are. Stop letting things talk you out of who you are. Have your crown in your safe place. Whatever safe place that may mean for you. That could mean your soul. That could mean your spirit. That could mean your mind. Your mind is a terrible thing to waste, kings and queens. Make it useful. Make it useful. Sometimes we don't need to be in our mind. Go into your mind when it's necessary. I love to think with my heart. Oh, yeah. And they say, oh, that's so dangerous. You don't want to think with your heart. I love to think with my heart. Because when I think with my heart, I think with who I really am. The place of a heart, the place of a heart will lead you into a lot of places, a lot of great places. Do you have enough heart to redeem you? I had to have enough heart to say, it's time for me to stop living for other people people. It's time for me to start living for me. It's time for me to start living for family because I'm family orientated. It's time for me to start living for the love of God. Regime you. Now, I want to speak about, um, I know that was very passionate, guys, because, um, most people don't like to really tap into themselves because they don't know how, okay? So, I know that will be a question, how do I dive into me again? So... I am going to give you guys um, some things that would be helpful, 
okay, on redeeming you again. Um, first question you should ask yourself is, who am I? Who am I? And when you ask yourself, who are you? You need to be very honest with yourself. Let alone get a piece of paper. And you're going to split that piece of paper down the middle. And you are going to write down every good quality that you have about yourself on one side. And then on the other side, you are going to write the qualities that people places and things in the world saw you as <coughs> pardon me and when you have those things written down I promise you guys this is this is no this is no setup <laughs> okay it's a setup for redeeming you as a king and a queen Okay. On one side of that paper, you're going to write down everything that is great about you. The other side, you are going to write everything that people have said about you or people's perspective, thought, idea that they had of you. And I promise you guys, when you look at that paper, the things that you thought about yourself, the list is going to go on and on and on and on and on and on. That list, that people perspective of you is or was, okay? I guarantee you that list is not going to be long. You know why? Because you know exactly who you are. And when you see that that list that you wrote down, that every single thing that you dug out, your list is longer than the list that people have said about you, perspective of you as a mother, as a wife, or you're never going to be this, you're never going to be that. Listen, that list does not go long. You know why that list doesn't go long? Because everybody perspective and idea of you tends to be the same thing. Oh yeah, it tends to be the same thing. So when your list versus their list is longer, your Pardon me. Your list is longer than their list. Baby, you just have redeemed yourself, queen. You have just redeemed yourself, king. You know exactly who you are. So stop living in the aspect, in the perspective of other people. Start living up to who you really are. And you can even add a little things to it, like... What is your long time goal? What is things that you want to do with your children, with your husband? What 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 are the great things that you desire in life? Because believe it or not, God has something more for you than you can ever imagine. Okay? Oh, I came up with that. Let me tell you guys. I came up with that when I was in the shelter. After realizing that I was living for other people. I was living from house to house to house to house, guys. It wasn't very nice. It wasn't pretty. Okay? I needed to be who they wanted me to be. I couldn't be who I was. I couldn't be who I am. Because when you're living with someone, you can't you can't be who you really are. Unless y'all are a couple or, or, or y'all are married, you can be who you are. 
But if you pay somebody rent in a house, no, just to stay with them, you can't be who you really are. With relationships, you can't be who you really are if, okay, the desires is not the same, okay? Now, I've learned that in relationships, you have to be who you really are and not be who they want you to be. If they can't accept the fact that you are who you know you are, it's get with it or get lost. I'm not saying that there's no room to learn or grow. No, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want nobody to misconstrue my words, okay? What I'm saying is relationships allow you to learn and grow. But if you do not allow a person to be who they really are, how do you expect to learn and grow with them? And that is with any relationship. That is in relationships and marriages. That is in relationships with your children. That is in relationships in the business. That is in relationship with you. If you do not redeem yourself and be willing to learn and grow, how are you going to continue to be who you really are? Don't fake it till you make it. Because after a while, that runs out. We don't want to fake it till we make it. We want to be all that we can be and just do it just like Nike. So there is no room. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. There's no room. Okay? To play cat and mouse. You don't have time to play cat and mouse with yourself. You know who you are. There's no room to play cat and mouse. Now, we're going to rewind. We talked about what is we dreaming ourselves about. It's not just about cleaning up our crown. It's knowing when to take it all and put it back on, okay? We didn't really want to focus on the crowns today, okay? But what is the way that we want to wear it, okay? I need you guys to thoroughly ask you, yourselves that question. What is the way you want to wear your crown and show up in life, okay? And I spoke about that. I elaborated on that, okay? I, I wasn't always, I didn't always know who I was. I needed to identify myself all over again. I needed to rebuild myself. I said, hey, I'm a mother. I'm going to be somebody's wife one day. I'm therefore a leader. I'm a motivational, inspirational speaker. This is who I am. My personality is this, that, 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 and this and that. Okay? Knowing the meaning of your crown and what does it mean to you. I spoke about what my crown meant to me. My crown thoroughly meant my heart. My crown meant to me as of who I am and how I represent myself. Because I never really got to be myself. You are bigger and bolder than you've ever been, queen. You are bigger and bolder than you've ever been, king. You are not who people say you are. I had to redeem myself inside out. I had to be who I am with my heart. 
That is where I place my crown when I am in a distraught place. I take my crown off and I put it to my heart. It's how I get answers. And my soul through my spirit. Okay. That is why I said we talked about cleaning up the crown. My safe place is also speaking. Because this is what I love to do. Okay. And I need to let you guys know that when I am speaking, my crown is off. I do not wear my crown when I am speaking. I don't. I don't wear my crown when I'm speaking because I am being me. I am being who I am. And I'm giving it all I got. Okay? Speaking is my safe place. My heart is my safe place. Okay? When I go into the in, into a space by myself alone, I regime myself and I put my crown back on. Okay? Because I'm not faking it till I make it. Okay? I need to be who I am. We spoke about that. You need to be who you who you are. No matter what anybody perspective is, thought is of you. Feelings of uh, is of you does not matter. Be who you really are in the greatest version of yourself. Do not let challenges, I spoke about that. Do not let challenges talk you out of being who you are. Don't let your life and what you've been through talk you out of who you really are. Your attitude, I spoke about in the last video as well, is not just because you are angry, you are upset, you are disappointed. No, guys. It's time to evolve. So you need to evolve and regime you again. You need to go back into that very place from a seed, okay, to regime you again. Because you are a king and you are a queen. As I said, you was a king before you got um, thoroughly into your mother's womb. You was a king. You was a queen. And I know you might feel like you've lost, but you haven't lost. You've actually gained back everything that you feel like you've lost. When you tap into you again, okay, and I mean thoroughly tapping into you. You have to ask yourself these questions because it is important when you want to show up in the world, it is important when you want to be a husband. It is important when you want to be a wife. It is important when you want to be a business owner. It is important when you want to be you. It is important because you don't want people to have the wrong perspective of you king you don't want people to have the wrong perspective of you queen so you need to be who you really are thoroughly and it can be a process and it's going to be a process and it's going to take time but if you would just take a moment and just regime you again Take a moment and say, who am I really? Take a moment and say, what is it that I want for my life, really? If you would just take a moment and say, this is who I really am. 
If you got to look into the mirror and have a conversation with yourself and say, this is who I really am. I am accepting that this is who I really am. I don't care who don't like it. This is who I really am. Okay? When people start to tell you what they don't like about you, it's because they really see something in you that you do not see in yourself. And they wish that they can be what you can be. They wish that they can be what you are. They wish that they can do what you do. Because you do it so well, king. You do it so well, queen. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't want to focus on that. We just want to focus on redeeming ourselves. And it is a process. Okay? It is a process. But get snatched. I need you to get snatched by redeeming you. I'm going to let that marinate, guys. Okay? Again, this is another episode where I am not going to do meditation in the end. Because that needs to marinate and process properly. Okay? So, again, I am Queen Shamif, your motivational, inspirational speaker. And I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed, inspiring day. Please look forward for me coming back. Um, and we are going to tap into some things this week, guys. Um, I will be live again one day this week. Please look forward to it um, on Facebook. Instagram, Queen Shamise, Don't Stop Perkins. I love you guys with peace and love. And keep your crowns on and be who you are. No matter what life has took you through. Be you. Again, with peace and love. I love you guys.